empaths, whether they realize they're empaths or not, are the people who are attracted to my work. When I have people pushing back against me, when there are people who are saying, oh, you have no evidence of what you're saying, I realize that they don't relate to it because they're not empaths. Empaths need a different kind of teaching. In the work I do right now, I'm out there in public speaking, and you know, we have to deal with pushback and social media, and we have to deal with divisiveness, and highly sensitive people are super sensitive to this. We are people who truly believe in compassion and empathy, and so we feel it when people are out there being divisive. I started to think to myself, if I'm going to continue in this line of work as a speaker, as somebody who's prominent on social media, if I want to start this kind of a movement that we have to embrace being sensitive, it can't be seen as a weakness. I want to find a mentor, somebody who's done it before me, who is a public figure who's out there, who has a leadership role showing that compassion is what is needed in the world. As I looked I couldn't find one. I thought, wow, isn't that interesting? Empaths shy away from leadership roles. And I started to put two and two together and I thought, no wonder the world is so messed up. Because if we had more empaths and sensitive people and compassionate people in leadership roles, they would make the changes that we want to see in the world.